everyone and welcome back to my channel as you can tell by the title today we are going to be testing out the Revlon one step blow dryer and voluminizer so I have heard so many things about this blow dryer I don't know why I'm just now uh, trying this out I wish I tried it out a long time ago uh, because I have heard nothing but good things um, even the Amazon reviews people are talking very highly of this so as you can tell I have very curly hair um, I have a lot of hair yeah I don't wear it like this I think this is actually my first time wearing it like this on my channel um, just because once it gets dry it gets very unmanageable it gets frizzy um, I definitely prefer my hair blown out uh, usually when I do my hair I blow dry it with my blow dryer and then I go in with a flat iron now being that my hair is so curly and I have pretty thick hair it takes me from anywhere between an hour and a half to two hours just because um, I take breaks my shoulders start to get sore my hands start to hurt I've tried round brushing my hair with a blow dryer I've tried doing that um, but my hands just hurt and it's hard to get the back with my round brush and a blow dryer So I have not tried this on myself if you follow me on Instagram You did see that I tried this on my boyfriend and his hair turned out so beautiful now his hair isn't as curly as mine uh he does have very thick wavy hair it's not as curly but uh his hair just turned out so beautiful so the products that i used on his hair first and foremost i made sure to brush out his hair so there were no knots and i added this ogx nourishing and coconut oil weightless hydrating oil mist um i did add this on the ends and i kind of just went over um his entire head once i was done blow drying it just to add a little bit more shine you don't want to add too much because then your hair is going to turn out a little greasy and i'm also using this as a detangler just because i don't have any detangler um with me but my hair isn't that naughty as long as i just brush it out and speaking of this ogx brand i do also use the shampoo and conditioner the biotin and collagen one that one has helped my hair grow a lot it nourishes my hair it makes my hair feel super healthy and soft and my boyfriend also uses it we've been using it for a very long time and my hair along with his hair has grown really fast from it so i have pretty healthy hair my hair is virgin i have not colored my hair um this is all my natural color I don't have any highlights or anything. I haven't colored my hair since cosmetology school. My hair has always been natural. So, since then. So, so before we start blow drying and testing out this product, I'm going to make sure to brush through my hair. This is when my hair gets super frizzy. Um, my hair is damp. I, um... Don't recommend blow drying your hair when it's super wet anyways. It's much easier when your hair is about 85% dry. I learned that in cosmetology school as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just going to brush it. Oh my gosh. My hair, after you brush it, gets so incredibly frizzy. I just want to make sure there's no knots before I go in with the blow dryer because I want it to be very easy and smooth when using the blow dryer i noticed that when i tried this blow dryer on my boyfriend's hair that i, I made sure to just brush all the knots out so it wouldn't get caught okay so now that my hair is all brushed i'm going to part it right in the center now when i do my hair i find that parting it in the center like like this and just doing one side out of t at a time is the fastest way to do it that is how i do um my old my clients here when i do give people blowouts i always part it in the middle i don't part it in four sections i just doing too much part it in the middle and then kind of section it off as you go up that's how i do it that's how i've always done it um and then i'm gonna tie this side up a little space bun just to keep it out of the way like so 
How cute. <laughs> okay. My straps keep falling down. I probably wore the wrong shirt for this video. I'm just going to brush it again. And I'm going to apply the oil in my hands. There's not much left, so that's why it's not really coming out. So I have to spray it a bunch of times. And just apply this to my ends and any excess at the top. I'm excited to try this on my hair. I hope it works as good as it did with my boyfriend's hair. I know there are a couple of videos with ladies with curly hair using this product. That's why I got it because those videos made me want to get it. Actually, Kyle bought this for me for my birthday. This was one of the gifts he got me. Um, so yeah, thanks babe. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna start out with the first section. I'm gonna make a section like that and just twist up my hair. I have some front layers, so let's see if they stay in the clip. Okay. That should be good. Okay. I probably could have grabbed a thicker piece. But it, what it looks like. And yeah. So there's different settings. There's off, cool, low, and high. So when I do blow dry anyone's hair, I start off with the high setting. And then um, I give it a cool shot to kind of lock in the style and seal the hair cuticles. I also learned that in cosmetology school, so that's a little tip. I did that to my boyfriend, and his hair turned out beautiful. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start. Let's see if it works. going to give it a cool shot um i feel like it doesn't get to the root as high maybe because the brush is so big um but we'll see this is a very small section so i don't think i should judge it based off this super small section but i'm gonna give it a cool shot um just to kind of seal it in and my straps are falling again i'm sorry uh here we go <laughs> So that is the first piece. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just section it again. Seems pretty smooth. I did notice this the other other day. Um, like I said, when I did use this on my boyfriend's hair for funsies, just because I wanted to test it out, um, that the brush can handle a bigger section just because it is so big. So... Let's go ahead and I'm gonna split it in two. And here we go. Here goes nothing. So it already has a little curve. Okay, she's curvy. <laughs> um, I, okay, I'm obsessed. I was kind of hesitant on how um, it would work on my hair texture. Um, but I'm obsessed. It's easy to get the back just because like ergonomically it has a really nice handle. Um, it has this part. This part does not get hot. 
Um, I hate when flat irons um, have like um, this type of tip and you touch it, even curling irons, and you touch it and it gets, and it's hot. This part you can use to kind of um, make this kind of movement and really, really get um, the nice curve in your hair and get to the root. So it's not burning my hair, even though my ear is really red, it's hot, but it's not burning my hair. And I feel like, what do you guys think so far? I feel like I'm able to get the root. If you see me looking back there, it's because my vanity mirror is right back there. So I'm going to give it a cool shot, like I said, and yeah. Okay, just to kind of seal it in. Okay, all right, all right, Revlon, I see you. Okay. <laughs> um... Okay, I'm gonna move on. I'm, I'm getting I'm getting excited. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys one more section. I'll probably fast forward through the rest of my hair because I'm basically doing the same thing. Um, but I'll show you one more section. I'm gonna move this part to the back. All that I know you did <laughs> um yes you guys <laughs> I mean dramatic but it really is that good it's getting the root oh my gosh I'm obsessed I'm obsessed gonna do this part I'm gonna kind of show you guys um, what kind of movements I'm doing just to make sure it's smooth from root to end so basically what I'm doing is I'm taking it and I'm kind of brushing it like so brushing the top uh, I'm not doing the swivel movement at the end and then I get underneath as you can tell I get underneath and I do the same movement just to smooth it out And then I go in and start to do this type of movement. And I'm using the tip. It doesn't get hot. You're not going to bring yourself. And I use the tip and do the movement at the end, just like that. Alrighty, so this is what we have so far. Really pretty. My hair feels super soft could be the oil but it feels really soft and I am obsessed with how it's turning out so far so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the other half of this section and I will be right back
got the leaf blower outside. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. My hair is done. It is so smooth, so silky. Um, But I absolutely love how this came out. Right now, if I was doing it the normal way, my hair would be just blow dried and frizzy right now and then I don't have to go back in with the flat iron. So the fact that I can just use this one tool and get my hair to look like I just walked out of the salon, I'm amazed. Um, so one thing is I'm going to do, and I noticed my hairstylist also does this too when I go get blowouts. I'm just going to hit the end only one more time just to really give that nice curve. It already has a pretty nice curve, but I'm going to do it again and then I'm going to give the ends a cool shot. So I'm going to do that real quick. You guys, this is... <laughs> Like, this is insane. The fact that I just used that and my hair looks like this. And I know I have dark hair, um, so I don't know if you can really, really tell. Um, that's why I wore a light-colored shirt. But, ah, I am obsessed. I love how this looks. Um, I'm going to go over it with the hydrating oil mist. And I'm actually just going to put it in my hand just so I have more control. And I'm just going to apply majority of it on my end and then just kind of smooth the top part over with the residual product and that's it you guys check that out it helps i have um framing layers but oh my gosh okay so i just got done with my hair your girl's feeling herself sorry i'm looking in the mirror uh <laughs> Um, so as you can tell, oh, I didn't spray oil on the side. I'll do that later. Um, as you can tell, my hair looks like I just walked out of the salon. I know I've said that a million times, but I just have to mention it again. And, um, it looks super voluminous. I absolutely love how this looks. I do want to share some tricks to get your hair more elevated and a little bit more voluminous. So I don't usually wear my hair in a middle part, so I'm just gonna part it how I normally wear it. Today I'm just not in the mood for a middle part. So usually my part goes on this side, just like so. And once again, my hair is super, super voluminous. I am obsessed. Like, what is happening here? I have a widow's peak, so my hair sometimes doesn't want to move from the middle. Um, so I'm going to show you guys some tips if you want that extra bend or if you want that extra volume here at the uh, where your bangs are. So first, I am going to... Give my ends one last little curve. Okay, so we got that. Now I am going to section off my bangs or fringe if you're trying to be formal. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna over direct the blow dryer so I can get more volume. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna over direct the blow dryer. I'm gonna do it from the top and kind of flip it over like that. I'm not going to bring it all the way up here. I'm going to kind of leave it downwards and over direct it like that because um, that will ensure you get the most volume. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip the um, bangs to let that style cool down. And that will also give you more volume. So take the pin it's like so. <laughs> feel like they cooled down I'm gonna let go look at that flip by the way yes and I'm just gonna kind of style it the way look at that volume I'm obsessed I like it that whole area right here you don't have to pin it it just for me I enjoy doing that so yeah, that is it. I hope you guys learned some tips and tricks from this video. I had so much fun testing out this Revlon One Step 
dryer and voluminizer it definitely did what it said the claims are a hundred percent true I definitely approve of this product especially if you have curly hair I think this could add volume to any hair type my boyfriend has very thick wavy hair if you have thin hair and if you want more volume um, in the back you could always blow dry um, the back part and pin that as well to get more volume back here but I'm so happy I had such a great overall experience testing this product out I will leave the link below to where my boyfriend got it he just got it on Amazon um, but yeah this video sounds sponsored but I promise he bought this uh, with his own money for my birthday because I wanted to try it and I'm here to tell you it is curly hair girl approved um uh, i can't say enough good things about it i'll stop rambling thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye